Mina, konbanwa, Jesus Freaking Gamer here. More Deuteronomy, chapter 29 tonight. And sticking on the subject of blessings and curses, I feel like maybe I got one more tiny hint today. I want to share with you guys for your thoughts and your comments. We're going to be in Deuteronomy chapter 29, verse 19. And so it may not happen, when he hears the words of this curse, that he blesses himself in his heart, saying, I shall have peace, even though I follow the dictates of my heart, as though the drunkard can be included with the sober. And obviously the drunkard cannot be included with the sober. The drunkard doesn't get the rewards of the sober. He's not sober. He's looked down upon. He's the laughing stock of the town. He, do he doesn't have the productivity or the work ethic of the sober. He doesn't have the good reputation or the good morals of the sober. Why should he partake of the things that the sober get? And what if God, in his infinite mercy, issued forth so many warnings and so many curses in order to encourage people whom he knows have sinful natures and hard hearts. Read the Old Testament. Almost any book in there will tell you how hard-hearted the Israelites were. And in my humble opinion, the church is not any better than they. Uh, I myself am not better than they. What if God issued forth so many curses and so many pronouncements of judgment to give as much encouragement as possible to stay away. Don't do this. Don't go down this road. You want the blessing part, not the huge cursing part. What if that was a whole part of hey? I really want you guys to succeed. I really want you guys to be blessed. So be blessed. Don't be cursed after cursed after cursed after cursed after cursed. Because the drunkard will not be rewarded alongside the sober can't just do whatever the heck you want and think, oh yeah, God's behind this, God's going to bless it. He won't. You have to obey his commandments and statutes, and he wants you blessed, not cursed. So he says a lot about the curses to keep you away from that stuff. It's a possibility. I'm, after meditating on that passage, I feel fairly convinced that that's pretty much the motivation of the Father. I'm personally convinced. Let me know what you guys think in the comments if uh, this is good stuff. I don't know how much longer I'll be talking about this, however much longer uh, the chapters in the Bible keep talking about it, and however often I feel that this is something that needs to be addressed, and it keeps ringing true in my heart. Thank you guys very much for watching. I love you guys, and God bless.